I wish you could smell this banana bread. Hello. It is Tuesday and I have just filmed a little video. Yesterday I made banana bread. Oh my god, vegan banana bread. I had raisins in it. It was absolutely stunning. I feel like I need to just address this. But today I sort of found out like the reality of what some people are thinking towards the black lives matter movement and i was just just quite shocked really and i'm really really tempted well i'm not tempted i just really really want to be able to do something about it but i just don't really know what to do because it is a bit of a sticky situation it's not that it's an uncomfortable conversation or anything like that there's other circumstances surrounding the situation that i'm just trying to figure out a way that is best to do something about it and i also just wanted to mention that i hope that people don't think that i'm just like getting on with my life now and just you know making normal videos and not really talking about it i've sort of been like i'm a huge fan of james genevieve like i say fan i'm not really like a fan i just love her videos and i watch her videos a lot and i've just been sort of watching what she's done obviously she's got a much bigger audience so she's like she seems like she's quite wary of what to do but what she's saying is right like the black lives matter movement like it's a movement not a moment and i think that's really important but i also think it's still important like for me for example to carry on creating content because it is what i enjoy doing and it is helping me with my own mental health whilst being in lockdown because I, I i wake up and i'm like oh i can film this today and it makes me like get out of bed and get ready and do it do you know what i mean so yeah i just wanted to mention that I think that's going to be something that we're going to integrate into our everyday life. Like it's an ongoing thing. It's human rights and it should be something that is just constantly at the forefront of everybody's minds. Like read up if you don't like reading, watch documentaries. Like there's absolutely loads and loads and loads of stuff out there. There's no excuses to be making statements saying that it's your own opinion not everyone is sort of being negative about the whole thing but those who are watch just go and watch the 13th on netflix do you know what i mean like youtube youtube is free there's so many different things that are incorporated into our everyday lives that we don't realize that are racist and insensitive like statue of that guy in Bristol that they like toured, they like pulled it down, didn't they, and then threw it in the water. Like, why was, why, why was that even up? Who out there is still saying, oh, that, that statue should stay up? Like, that person was a huge part of like instigating slavery. But how is that a good thing at all? There's, there's no positive side of slavery. There's actually a petition going around. I'll put I'll leave a link to it down below. And it's basically to replace that statue that was torn down with a the statue with a guy that led the 1963 bus boycott in Bristol. That's a great idea. You know what I mean? Why is not he already got a statue? So yeah, I'll leave a link down below for that for you to sign. Because petitions are free people. Another thing I wanted to mention is the uh, Conservative Immigration Bill that they're trying to pass through. The Conservatives have sent out a survey for everyone to fill in to say whether you agree or not with the new Immigration Bill. And the survey sort of says, like, do you agree with giving an extended visa to the uh, frontline NHS workers? obviously because we're in the middle of a pandemic and like you know there's so many nhs staff that are, Im are immigrants like why would we want to just get rid of them like oh it's just so backwards it's like honestly it's like we're going back in time 
but yeah there's basically a survey out there and they've sent it out to their own mailing list which is obviously going to be conservative supporters who are the generally the types of people who agree with such nonsense i personally don't agree with it if we don't share it we're not going to see it they've put it out um to their own mailing list and they've put it out as a like specific algorithm or something like that or basically so that Labour Party or whoever else voters won't see it and won't be able to fill it in because they won't know about it which is just fab love our government say more <sighs> okay bye good day oh me and you could sit over there john yeah <laughs> Hi there, it is Sunday. Excuse the absolute state of my hair. I have been in the bath and I've just let it like air dry. Bit mask. And I just thought I'd give a quick update before I finish this week's vlog. Um, yeah. Yesterday I went to the march in Liverpool for the Black Lives Matter movement and it was great. It was very, very peaceful very distant like as we were sort of walking to go into the march they were like stop like keep your distance they were doing like a two at a time system sort of thing which i thought was really good and they were like handing out masks and face coverings and everything like which i just thought was amazing and i wanted to just enlighten everyone that that was how it was because that is not what you will be seeing on the news you'll be seeing everyone rioting and it's just being absolute chaos and everyone being dead, dead close, close to each other I've seen a lot of videos of the protests in London and in like New York and stuff which is just horrific but that is what happened in Liverpool. It was great, like it was such a nice day, do you know what I mean? The weather was gorgeous and everything, like it was just really nice and it was so interesting like what the black community had to say. After that we had like a few drinks on the cathedral gardens and then... And then it started to rain, so we came home and then me and Jack went for a little drive by round here and watched the thunderstorm. Oh my god. Wow. I mean you'll have seen the video every single lightning strike. I'm like, oh <gasps> so yeah, that's what I did. I hope you've all had a fabulous week and I can't wait. 
to see what the next week brings. Thanks very much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye! Let's go. Yeah. <laughs>